Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading was a fun one. We are going to see what makes people want to watch you. In front of me, I have three different options. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, so what makes people want to watch you? Okay, group number one. So right away, what stood out to me was with this card, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like her style, like is different. And I feel like there's something about what you guys wear that like gets people wanting to watch you and like stare. Okay, I just feel like it looks, it's different, it's unique, and it looks good on you. Okay, like the clothes don't make you, you make the clothes, but like it all like compliments you though. Okay, and accentuates like you already look good, but like, it's just like there's something about your style in particular that's coming through that I feel like gets people wanting to watch you. Okay, like what is this person going to do? Like they're intrigued by you, okay? Yeah, okay, and this, this card reveals like another thing. Like I just, you know, especially when looking at this card, you know, her face is just lit up. I feel like you guys, you just have this smile too that's super contagious. Like somebody could be having like a terrible day and all of a sudden like you walk into the room and I feel like you know you just flash them this smile and I feel like they just like for an instant like all their worries and troubles like leave them and they just feel so much better okay and like they smile back at you and I feel like you know it's kind of like that thing like it's not even conscious for these people it's like I feel like you bless people just by your presence okay and to me that makes you like a healer but Either way, so, you know, I do feel like people crave your energy, your presence, and honestly, like, guys, it can be as simple as just you smiling at people, okay? Like, strangers, anybody, people you know, it doesn't matter. I feel like you make their day, and to you, that might be something really simple, but to them, I feel like it really does create a positive ripple effect, okay? Okay, so next, um, the next thing that really stood out to me was... Her hand was her hands around this as well as these hands, okay? And even she's like grabbing something. So I'm feeling like you guys, there's something about you and your hands that, you know, I feel like you work, you create, either you create something or you work with something with your hands and I feel like you do it amazingly. Okay, so I feel like you guys, you truly have some kind of a gift with your hands okay and I feel like that makes people want to watch you like they want to watch you work your magic or they want to know like they want to see what you've created with your hands um for some of you it will actually be like energy work okay like Reiki's coming through for others of you um I'm getting something more like creative and artistic is coming through okay like you actually literally create things with your hands okay and it's not so much that people want to watch you do it. I mean, they might, but it's almost like they are just, like, wowed by what you can create with your hands is what's coming through with that. But, yeah, definitely there's something significant with your guys' hands. Okay, so, oh, yeah, so that was that card. And then, okay, so we have, this is interesting. Okay, so with my cards, I had my shoe card as well as my roller skate card come out. So that made me feel like <laughs> there is definitely something standing out as far as you and movement, okay? Like, I got your walk. I feel like there's something about the way you guys walk, okay? That's like just super like... You got this catwalk down is what I'm getting, okay? And it makes people want to watch. They want to stare at you. Um, and I even heard the song when looking at this, as well as her walking. Like, I like the way you move. Da -da -da. Okay, so people like the way that you guys move. Okay, whether it's your walk or maybe you kind of just, you know, like, sway your hips, like, kind of do like a little bit of dance movement just casually you know when talking to people okay like it's just like people are drawn to that they like it okay 
and it's just you being you and it kind of just showing a little bit of a sensual side, you know, and just kind of making the moment more fun and, you know, feeling like yourself. So, okay. Also with the shoe and the skate, I feel like there's also something about what you guys wear on your feet. Okay. That stands out and it makes people like stare at you and just, you know, just it looks good. Okay. I feel like you guys, again, going back to that style, it's just like, people can't get enough of it. There's just something about your style that's unique. Okay. And it could be, you know, shoes, it could be boots. It's just like, you look good style wise. Okay. You got that going on. Okay. So we also, okay. With my O snap card, that makes me feel like you guys are the type that's Although, okay, so initially I'm getting that you guys radiate and exude joy, okay? I'm, there's just a lot of yellow here. You know, she looks happy. This person looks really happy. Um, and I feel like, you know, that's definitely the main, like, thing as far as how you guys are and your attitude of what makes people want to watch you. But, you know, when push comes to shove and you guys aren't feeling something and you're just like, something isn't right... I do see you guys getting vocal about it, okay? And it's kind of like, you know, heads start turning because they're like, oh, snap. Like, what is this person about to say, okay? I feel like this blunt, fierce side of you guys come out and it's like, you are like, mm-mm. And it's not you being mean, it's literally just you guys being like, okay, something's not right and I'm going to say something about it, okay? It's like I do see that you guys literally want the best for everyone and you do have this fairness and justice theme about you and it's like you're not just going to let people like do whatever like if it doesn't sit well with you is what I'm getting with that. So yeah, it's kind of like you naturally have this way about, you know, just wanting to correct others. Not correct others, but like correct what is what isn't what isn't sitting right with you? That's it. You want to make things right is what I'm getting with that. I mean, some of you might want to, you know, correct others. Um, but yeah. Okay. So also what's coming through to me with the issue and the skate is like, you guys are the type that again, like it's coming through. Like if something doesn't sit well with you, I feel like you won't hesitate to like walk away from the situation or the person even if you've known them forever, it's just like, you guys are true to yourself. And it's kind of like, if something doesn't resonate, doesn't sit well with you, you're not going to put up with it, is what's coming to me about that. Yeah, okay, so with her walking away and these two, you know, next to each other, that's definitely what's coming through as far as that goes. But yeah, you know, I do feel like you guys, you also, I feel like your laugh and your, there's something also coming through about your voice. I feel like people love to listen to you talk. I feel like, you know, you do have a great sense of humor. I feel like I'm just seeing people laugh in your presence. Okay. And I, again, like it's coming through that all in all group number one, I'm just really getting like this overall, like, kind of like my sunflower card might as well come out you just like you're this beam of light okay that just shines and I feel like you know it's contagious and going back to you know your smile I feel like you guys really do bless who comes into contact with you guys and they do have a better day because of you okay so that's amazing to see and I just feel like you know they want more of that like you guys I feel like you really do see the good in others and like and, you know, what we focus on expands. So it's kind of like, you know, when you compliment others or, like, you acknowledge something that they're doing, I feel like they just all of a sudden, like, that person, you know, they start to feel better about themselves. They start to feel capable about themselves. And I just, I see you doing something that you would consider simple, but it going a long way, okay? And really, like, making an impact on the people that you come in contact with. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay, so what makes people want to watch you? Okay, so right away, what I got for you guys 
is that with the Empress here and the King of Fire, I really feel like you guys are truly like stepping up in life, okay, and really showing up fully. Whereas maybe before, you know, you were kind of in the background, on the sidelines, you know, just kind of like working, doing whatever it is you do, but not really in the spotlight, okay? That has definitely changed, okay? I'm just getting this feeling of like, some of you, it's like you are actually leaders, okay? Or you have a new position at work or there's just something where, or you're in the spotlight. There's something go coming through where I'm seeing like there's more eyes on you than there used to be, okay? And the reason's going to be different for all of you, but either way, regardless, it's kind of like, you know, and whether there's that's actually literally true or not, I'm just getting this feeling that you guys are fully showing up now, okay? Like you're becoming the leader of your own life and you are taking charge and you are doing your thing, okay? Like I'm just getting like you are shining like a star and it's not always I'm getting like doesn't always feel amazing, but it's kind of like, you know, you take the lows with the highs and it's kind of like you just realize it's all a ride. It's all like an adventure. And I feel like you're just, you're not shying away anymore from being who you fully are. Okay. And what you're capable of is what I'm seeing. So that's amazing group two. So with that, I feel like people definitely want to watch you because it's like I said, like you're showing up fully and it's kind of like they want to know like, oh, okay, like, you know, people are taking notice, they notice you, and they're like, oh, what's this person, you know, what, what are they going to do? Like, what are they going to say? So people are kind of like hanging on the edge of their seat, wondering about you, okay? That's really what's coming through strong. Okay, so I do see, you know, with these cards that you guys, I mean, you know, they also like want to watch, want to stare at you because, you know, you're attractive, okay? That's also coming through. But... Let's see. Yeah, so so what I'm getting is that people really find your eyes to be attractive. I feel like that really like draws them to you. And you guys also have like this what I call like a model stare, okay? So it's kind of like, you know, you'll hold people's eye contact, but you'll also have like that poker face, okay? Like where they can't read you, okay? And that's another thing that's coming through strong for this group is like you guys, you don't necessarily like reveal a lot about yourselves when talking to others. So you definitely only reveal what you want them to know. I'm also seeing with that is that, you know, it's kind of like they're intrigued by it. They find you to be mysterious. Okay. And I get such mysterious vibes always with this card, you know? So yeah. Also, I feel like if you guys are the type who don't really post a lot on social media, it's like the minute you do, like everybody, it seems like take notices, like a moth to a flame, okay? Yeah, and with that, you know, I have can't figure you out. So again, you know, you guys, you look good. You don't reveal a lot about yourself and you're just kind of, you know, in your own world, doing your own thing while fully showing up. So it's like you've got people's attention. You've got them wondering about you. You've got them curious. If you do have social media, they're definitely looking you up. Okay, like, yeah, I'm getting coworkers in particular. I find that interesting. Okay, like they want to know more about you. They're suddenly like really curious about you. And yeah, they want the tea basically. Okay, so with the full card here, okay, I'm just getting like, I feel like you guys are definitely like your own person. You do things your own way. I'm getting definite Aquarius vibes with that and I'm just seeing you guys like you know you guys like to challenge certain norms and s the status quo I feel and you know you just basically like to put your own spin on things and I feel like you know so basically what I'm trying to say is like people find you to be magical okay like I said you have your own sense of style your own way of doing things your own way of being you know um you know, there's also like this quirkiness coming through that's just, like I said, like it's your unique self. And I feel like, you know, people, they like it because they, I feel like, want to be like that. They want to be more like themselves instead of like holding back. And I feel like you guys are just, like I said, like just showing up and being you. And it's coming across as being magical.
I also feel like you guys are a bit of a free spirit as well as highly spiritual. So it's kind of like people don't know why, but they do feel better in your presence is also what's coming through. I feel like though, when you guys are engaged in an activity that you're really into, it's like you light up, you know, you're very passionate people. And I feel like you ignite that inspiration in others. And then all of a sudden I feel like they want to do what they're passionate about. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting this interesting theme with you guys. Kind of like you guys unlock, you unleash in people like their hidden desires and passions is like what's coming through creatively. Okay. I'm just getting like, I feel like you guys are very creative individuals. So it, somehow like it shows when you're with people. Okay. So maybe you have this artistic edgy look to you. There's just something coming through where, you know, something on the outside of you is definitely representing like the artist within basically. And you know, those that you open up to about whatever it is that you do art wise, creative wise, and art can be music writing, you know, it doesn't have to just be art. And this is going to be different for all of you. But I feel like, you know, again, like, I feel like you getting excited about what you're into gets other people excited about what they're into. So yeah, it's like you unleash the creative within others group too. Okay, also what's standing out to me with the, these two wearing red is that I feel like you guys, you look good in red, okay? Like, yeah. So if you were ever wondering, this is definite confirmation that yes, red looks great on you, okay? It just like accentuates your look. Like you're, like I said, like you guys are already attractive, but like, I feel like red really like just stands out on you guys. Okay, so then with my cards, okay, so we have my burger card, which for me represents like a boss. So some of you, you know, I feel like your goal is to become your own boss. And for others of you, what is coming through, well, either way, whether you want to be your own boss or not, it's like you being the boss of your own life. Like I said, like you guys have boss vibes now, okay? And you're not messing around. You're fully showing up. You are becoming decisive and clear about what it is that you want and where you're going. Whereas before, okay, so like I said earlier, it might not have been that you were in the background sidelines, but maybe before you really didn't have direction or you weren't clear about where you wanted to go in life, okay? But now I'm getting like this sense of a very clear... I'm moving forward, you know, I'm taking charge. I'm just like, everything I'm doing, I'm like going all in now, okay? That's like the energy you have, which that energy alone, it gets people wanting to watch you, okay? You just walk into a room like a whirlwind that's like commanding attention without trying, okay? And it's like people like, they wanna, they wanna look. They want to watch you, they want to stare, okay? Okay, so in particular, I actually have somebody specific coming through for this group, okay? There is somebody that it either was, is an ex or, you know, somebody who has or had feelings. Well, I feel like they still do if they're showing up in this. And things didn't go well with you guys or it didn't take off. And I feel like this person in particular is still trying to watch you, okay? So if you have social media, they're still checking it out. And if you don't, then they could be asking about you. There's just some kind of link of like this person, they are, you know, they're, they're trying to figure out like, what are you up to now? You know, like, have you moved on? That kind of feeling. Yeah. Like there's definitely some kind of a disconnect with this person, but they're trying to bridge the gap and they could be doing that through social media, okay? Or like I said, like asking others about you. Okay, so, and then with this card, I feel like you guys all in all, like, yes, you know, you are becoming like fiery individuals, um, but, and you're passionate and can be like excited and, you know, this and that, but you actually come across like you're cool, calm, and collected, okay? And definitely you have a cool vibe to you. And I feel like people definitely stare when you wear sunglasses in particular. And this again is about like, you know, people not really being able to get a read on you and wondering about you. You just definitely have that vibe about you, okay? But either way. So yeah, I feel like you guys, like I said, like you walk into a room, people take notice, you're attractive, you're coming in with this bold energy that's fiery, but 
with an amazing blend of also being cool, calm, and collected, okay? Like, yeah, that energy puts people at ease and they want more of it. So, you know, like I said, like, people are hanging off the edge of their seat wondering about you guys. They just, they're looking you up on social media. They are just wondering, like, who is this person? Like, I want to know. I want the tea on you. That's, like, the message I keep getting for you guys. And I feel like everything you do, like I said, like, you come across as magical. You're a free spirit, but you're also cool and hip. So it's kind of like, you just, you're this amazing blend, okay? And that gets people watching you. And I feel like, too, there's something about your guys' gestures, okay, hand movements, whoops, that's just, like, also, like, I feel like people, like, want to be like that. Yeah, group two. Okay, so you might have some like people imitating you or something, but you definitely have people wanting, and this might not even be conscious. Okay, like they say, like the sincerest form of flattery is imitation. So I feel like you've got people like imitating you just because they like how you are. Okay, and they want to be like that. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonated, let me know in the comments. And if it did, don't forget to give it a like. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, group number three. Okay, so what makes people want to watch you? Okay, group number three. So right away, we start off with the Page of Swords here, which tells me that you guys, okay, Instantly what came to me was like life path seven is the vibes that you guys give whether you are a seven or not. Okay, so I feel like whenever you guys are into something you you can learn it quickly, but either way like you will teach yourself something and then I feel like you all of a sudden whereas you know like the day before you had no clue about the thing because it sparked your interest. It's like you dove into learning about this thing and now all of a sudden you can do it. You know, you can perform it. Whereas it might take others like, they might actually have to take courses on how to like do this particular skill or you know, whatever it is that you learn. And it's just like, you have a brilliant mind, okay? And it's like, how you operate it's like if you're into something you can like figure it out you can learn it and then you can do it but not only can you do it but you do it better than a lot of people so I feel like you know that definitely gets people wanting to watch wanting to stare wanting to know more okay and along with that so not only you know are you really good at learning but teaching yourself but you can really teach others is what's coming through strong as well okay so you know some of you might actually be teachers that are watching this and it doesn't even have to be you know the traditional teacher in a classroom but like a teacher of any kind okay like you might give instructions online um or you could literally be a teacher but either way, I'm just getting that you guys have a gift for communication and for explaining things that you yourself have taught yourself, okay? So like you are like this self-made person who is kind of like a professor in a way. Like you do, I feel like you like to read up on things, you like to listen to things, you know, to mentally stimulate your mind with whatever it is that interests you, okay? Because, yeah, we have the Queen of Swords as well as the Page of Swords. So a lot of air coming through for this group. As well as, you know, the Lovers is Gemini. So it's kind of like, you guys, you know, you are all about that mental stimulation. And I feel like, you know, that's like when you're in your element and when you shine is when you get to explain or show, you know, even a demonstration of what it is that you are into. And that's what gets people wanting to watch and stare at you. Okay, so I'm also seeing that, okay, we, your, your guys is like, okay, when I see this card, I always feel like, you know, whoever's watching this group has like a nice sense of style, okay, like you just, and you don't even have to try, just you guys just look good in whatever you're in, okay, that's funny, it came through strong for group one as well, but yeah, so it's funny because she has like sandals on, but I always get like the feeling with this image. Like I'm just getting like, you might wear a leather jacket, you might wear boots, okay, cut off jeans. You know, it doesn't matter what it is it feels like. I mean, you guys already look attractive, which is also getting people to want to watch you and stare. But like, I feel like, you know, whatever it is that you wear is kind of like, I don't feel like you think too much about it. 
but like it looks good on you okay and that also gets people wanting to watch okay so this is always like my group threes tend to be my lone wolf group okay so very independent feel to you guys but i do feel like you guys also will be social like when you're in the mood or like when there's an event you know and i do feel like you know I'm, i just get like always with you guys that there's definitely this air of mystery about you you reveal what you want people to know okay that's similar to group two and it's kind of like, I just, I feel like they constantly want to know more because you're not as like vocal as like, let's say group one. Um, so, you know, you constantly have people wondering about you. They're curious about you. And yeah, I feel like you guys like it that way. Okay. You definitely have this like interesting or an energy about you. That's like, cool. Let them wonder, you know, like I'm doing me and I'm cool with the way that things are. And I don't want to mess with that. That's like the feeling that I'm getting with that. Okay. So yeah, I also feel like with the 10 of you know, with the Ten of Pentacles here, I do feel like family and friends, whoever's closest to you means the world to you. And you guys are very, you know, protective and like, I just feel like, you know, you guys, you kind of keep your circle like small is like what's coming through with this. So yeah, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like there's people on the outside looking in and you guys I've had this come to me before for a group where it's almost like you guys are like VIP and like live in this secret world that like others went in on, okay? I always get like rock star vibes with that. So hey, you know, if you're watching this and you're in a band, that could be what that's representing, okay? You're in the spotlight, you know? Okay, so also we have with my card here, this is my boss card. So I'm actually getting that for some of you, you actually are a boss, okay? <laughs> or a manager or in some upper level position at work. And it's like, you have to oversee people. You have to tell them what to do, this and that. And I just feel like you guys have this amazing ease to you though. That's not real typical with a boss energy. Okay. And what came to me about that is it's like, I just get this feeling that you guys are like this friendly, fair boss. And for some of you, this is actually representing your parent. Okay. But you are definitely coming across as being more like laid back and maybe you weren't always this way but i feel like this is like the new current energy that you are tapping into there's just more of an ease and a chill about you guys like you're still in charge you know and you're still gonna tell whoever what to do but you now are more friendly more fair and it's just like a like i said like an ease about you and i feel like this gets people actually wanting to listen more and wanting to watch you you know like how you work your magic basically doing your thing telling people what to do, but not like overdoing it. There's a role of power that you are in, but like you are definitely balanced with it, okay? And I actually feel like you guys are getting a better response from people because of that. So that's cool to see. Okay, so you guys definitely have people crushing on you. I'm seeing with this card, okay? And what's also coming through is group three. Are you secretly seeing somebody? Because when I see that card in particular, it often, you know, can say you're either talking to somebody on the low or you're seeing somebody on the low right now because it wouldn't be like conducive at this point that you both feel like to announce that you are together is what I'm getting. Like it would rock the boat in too many ways. That's not to say you guys aren't going to be public with it, but like currently I feel like you're not, okay? And also what came through for me with that is somebody in particular is wondering, are you seeing somebody? Okay, so somebody who's crushing on you is like, um, you know, they're trying to get the tea on you because you don't reveal a lot. And if you have social media, I feel like you don't really post a lot, but um, yeah. So group three, you have fans, you have followers, you've got people wondering about you. They got, they're like wondering about your relationship status. So you know, they're watching you, they're watching your social media, your every move, like, is there any sign, you know? I feel like exes are coming through, like, is there any sign of you missing them, moving on, wanting them, you know? You got all this curiosity. And you know, the swords card is about people checking out your social media and being curious. So, you know, group three, Look at you being like this per a mysterious person getting everybody wondering about you. 
Okay, so with my shoe card, I do feel like, you know, you guys have had to walk away from a situation or a person or something that just no longer was serving your highest good and it's like you know I do see like it was hard but at the same time I feel like you know you're stepping into this more empowered space now of where you can really thrive and be all that you can be you know and I'm just I see that it's been quite a journey for you of healing and really going through it but at the same time I feel like you really are starting to emerge from that and like you're feeling like yourself again you're feeling good again and I feel like you know there might have even been some time of hermit mode, which was necessary for healing. But I feel like now you're stepping out of that and you are fully like becoming like your elevated self, you know, and I feel like you're wiser and stronger because of it. And it's just it feels amazing. Like this new energy that you're stepping into feels amazing. And I feel like, you know, the more that you really do step into the new chapter of your life and close the door on the other one, I feel like you are having people, you know, watch you stare, you know, just be drawn to you like a magnet more so. And it's really because you're coming to life. You're coming alive again is what it feels like. Yeah. And then we have my crown card. So it's like, you know, you, you are putting that crown back on and you're just like, I'm not letting anybody take it off. Okay. Like, yeah, if this is me. This is who I am. That's the other thing. You guys are stepping into like this ownership now. Like you're owning who you are. You're owning your path in life. And you are just like fully embarking it. You know, you are fully like, you're going all in basically at this point, you know, with anything that you do, I feel. So that's getting people to want to watch, wanting to stare, wanting to be a part of your life is what I'm seeing with that. Okay. <laughs> Group three, this keeps coming up for you guys. There's something about your hair in particular that really like stands out to people and that gets them, you know, watching you and staring. And, you know, for some of you, I'm getting like, it could be like, like super long and like, you know, just others, I feel like it's short. Um, and others, it's somewhere in between. It's just different. It stands out and looks good on you is what I'm seeing with that. So group three, if you feel like sharing, let me know what is it about your hair? But yeah, all in all group three, what I see is that you guys are definitely, you know, these independent people who are emerging into their own and you know, you got people curious, wondering about you, crushing on you, wanting to know, are you seeing somebody? And or I forget, the other thing that's coming through as I look at this, the color in this card is I'm getting like, all of a sudden I feel like, you know, as a way to channel your pain, it's almost like you dove into like, this creative outlet is what's coming through. And I feel like you guys, you know, there's something about, that you do creatively, artistically, okay, that. I feel like it really like stands out to people and they just they're really intrigued by it they're really wowed by you by something that you do in particular that's create some kind of creative self-expression okay group number three this is what i see for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments and if it does don't forget to give it a like all right bye guys